So I've been curious about how Julius Randle would fit with the Timberwolves, and I've watched their first two games and saw something that caught my eye. It's the second quarter, and Austin Reeves gets the ball to Anthony Davis. LeBron screens, and Gobert tells Randle to switch on to Davis. But Randle says, no, you should be coming around the screen. And because of that, Davis has a wide open three, but he misses. Now, Anthony Davis is not a good three-point shooter, so I understand that Randall felt Gobert could get around the screen. But you can't be arguing about that while Davis is just stepping into a wide open shot. And if he really wanted to, he probably could have even driven that into the paint, so Minnesota was really fortunate. Then, in their next game against the Kings, Gobert returned the favor. DeMar DeRozan swings the ball to Fox, who then moves it along to Herter. He misses a three, and Randall steals the ball away from Gobert on the rebound. On the way down, he uses a Gobert screen to get into the paint. He then hangs and looks at Ant before throwing it to Rudy Gobert. Now Randall points at Gobert to get it to a wide open Mike Conley, but he instead tries attacking Sabonis. It gets lucky that Ant's able to fly in for the rebound and gets fouled. If you look at it again, there's maybe a chance that Gobert just didn't see Randall, but he is looking in that direction, so I don't know. Now, I don't think these moments are necessarily a microcosm of the relationship, but if anything, it's just two teammates that have to learn to trust each other more. For Minnesota's sake, please just keep it simple. Randall, please listen to Gobert on defense, and Gobert, please listen to Randall on offense.